Right guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So today we are looking at Max Minch. So he is from Germany and he's part of the German Romans. So the biggest outdoor community in Europe. And as you can see, he's an awesome photographer and he uses greens mostly with a very contrasty image. Always, almost always has a vignette and is slightly un underexposed, very dark image, very dark blacks, and very vast landscapes. So we're going to be looking at how to get an image similar to this, with similar colors, similar contrast, and see what we can do. So let's get into Lightroom and see what happens. But first, I want to say that everything, as always, is going to be in the description. So his presets that he sells will be in the description as well as his Instagram and his website. Right, so let's get into Lightroom. So in Lightroom now, I've chosen this as the image today and this as the reference image. And they are looking pretty similar, so let's get straight into it. And I'll start by just exposing the image right. I'll overexpose it for now as I know I'll be bringing down the blacks and adding vignettes in, in that later. Up the contrast. Very contrasty image. Bring down the highlights. And really bring up the shadows. Bring down the whites and really bringing down the blacks. So I want to keep it nice and punchy as we're gonna lose a lot of the color and the and the exposure later on when we add the other effects and bring down the luminance and things like that. So vibrance can come down a little and curves so we're going to put an S curve in bring down the highlights a little bring down the whites a tad and a bit of a fade So we might have to come back to this later when we see how our image is looking. So HSL sliders. Reds doesn't reds don't matter too much, obviously. Bring up the green. up to blue right saturation we want to bring down some of the colors that aren't in the image now because once you make it into a preset and put it on another, another photo that might have those colors, those colors will be really, really blown out. So you can take them down if you want, say red, all the purples can go down as well. But on this image, we won't worry about it, keep it simple. Let's give that a little bump. Luminance. So this is quite important. Bring down those greens. Up the yellow. Bring up 
bring down the oranges. A little bit of red. And split toning. So, did we add warmth? We want to get our warmth right, actually. That's looking much better. So back down to split toning. We'll go for and I like round numbers and saturation just a little bit sharpening we'll do some sharpening and we'll bring up the masking so if you press alt you can see what it's sharpening sharpening the whole image just the big lines and we'll go for about there it's quite a soft looking image so you don't want to over sharpen and vignette looks all right he has a vignette on almost every image no grain I believe and I think that's it guys so we've got a pretty similar looking image he's got little yellows here that have a lot of luminance to them he his subject he's brightened up so he has gone ahead and brushed in a lot of exposure on top of the subject and he's used as you can see a plain red jacket people also use plain yellow jackets as then they will pop instead of using a multicolored jacket they just choose a solid color so they really pop from the image and that that jacket might be yellow he might have changed that in post so he stood out separate from these flowers here so what we can do now is we could do a lot of brushing to add contrast in certain areas but we will save this as a preset screen a little so I'm just saving this as max at max Lunch. and you might want to consider ticking exposure since it's going to be so dark almost every time and create so let's try it on some other images here's another one completely reset let's find our preset here let's try it. adjust the exposure 
pretty harsh vignette. So it works well there as well. And yeah, if we go back to our first image, I'm sure there's a lot we could do in terms of brushing. Almost every single person retouches their photos with the brush, whether it's in Photoshop or Lightroom. So we'll see what we can do. And we will just add a bit of a pop to where the light naturally hits. So. along here Maybe, and a little down there in this mist here so we'll add some exposure turn up the feathers right up we probably should have feathered out our brush a little more but we add contrast getting a bit more punch in those highlights And we're probably just going to leave it as that. Just playing around and see what works. So that's about done guys so i'll leave it there and make sure you leave a like comment below for more video ideas and i'll catch you in the next one and make sure you go and give him a follow give myself a follow and yeah next video